What's going on, guys? The boys are back. Uh, Entourage, they're rolling back into theaters this weekend. And that has inspired us to talk about TV shows that turn into movies. Let's introduce the awesome panel we have to talk about this subject. First, he is a critic at large and the weekend editor for TheNerdist.com, Kyle Anderson. Hello. And he's a good friend of the family, actor, comedian, hashtag botanicus, Mike Carlson. Hello, hell, thank you for having me. Kyle, is there a TV show that became a movie? Start us off, what's one that you like? Uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, the Addams Family movies, both of them actually, but um, uh, that's one where like I barely knew the show because it was obviously on in the 60s. Yeah. And it was kind of just a silly sitcom and then it became a pretty dark comedy, uh, like horror filled comedy and and I, I think they both hold up pretty well. It might be like the best recast of all time. Yeah, totally. And like of just people that like totally match the originals but then do something that's just as great. Christina Ricci, uh she was born to play yeah. that part. <laughs> let us ransom you from the power of the grave. Tonight, oh death, let us be your play. Where's Pugsley today? Mm -hmm. let, let us know in the comments section where Pugsley Please. is. <laughs> Hashtag where's Pugsley? <laughs> Mike, what's one that you like? Um, I like the Mission Impossible movies. Yeah. And those movies have done, I think, what is a like unusual thing in that like when we say Mission Impossible now, you probably just think Tom Cruise. You can understand you're very upset. Kittredge, you've never seen me very upset. Other than maybe the first movie, which is sort of referencing the show a little bit. Like, it just did its own thing with the name of it. And uh, all anybody who directs it basically changes it to whatever. Like, the second one is a John Woo movie. Uh, the first one is definitely a Brian De Palma movie, and it's, it's were there doves in the second one? There yes. were doves in the second <laughs> so one. So many doves <laughs> and two guns and motorcycles. That that was the most John Woo movie I think of all time. Wow. Cut to doves. I'm gonna throw one out there. Might be one of. It's definitely one of my favorites, the South Park movie. Sure. Dude, that movie was f***ing sweet! They were able to just curse more. They were able to just be that much more raw. Uncle f***er. Great <laughs> song. And that's like sort of using the medium of film and the bigger budget to its like maximum potential. They used all of that to their advantage and that's what makes that movie, part of what makes that movie so great. I think what uh, one that's really interesting to me is is The Naked Gun because that became a whole series. Uh, it's based on police, uh, police story, no, what was it called? Police Squad. Police Squad. Squad. From the files of Police Squad. Which didn't even last a full season. Like yeah. it was such a short lived show and yet that became a pretty popular movie franchise. Maybe this will help. I still don't think I should tell you. Can you spot me a 20? How about now? And I think the one bad thing that they decided to do is that they replaced whatever guy was in Police Squad with uh, O.J. Simpson. <laughs> uh, Who knew he was gonna be No one knew. No one knew. We didn't and... know. Mike, is there another one that we haven't mentioned yet that you're uh, pretty partial to? Well, there's a giant one, Star Trek. Some We'd of them are- We'd be idiots if we didn't talk about Star Trek. Well, let's not be idiots. Yes. So there's a lot of Star Trek to talk about. The original Star Trek spun off into movies. Next Generation spun off into movies. Mm -hmm. Where do you stand on each of those? The original cast probably has better movies than the Next Generation cast, but I'm a little bit more partial to the Next Generation cast, so I have maybe more. The critic in me says, the original cast has better movies. The child in me says Next Generation movies are more fun because I like those characters. But there are some turds in both. Bring the ship closer. What does God need with a starship? What about the newer movies, the J.J. Abrams movies, compared to the original Star Trek casts? I feel like you can't even call those based on the show anymore. They're based on memories of the show. And they have yet to trek the stars which I think is a big thing <laughs> in both of those movies. They've had a lot more space battles in the stars. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> I, I like the J.J. Abrams movies, but what he did was he pulled Star Trek's head out of its own ass. Mm -hmm. And for people that really love Star Trek, that's part of it that we like. Yeah. We sort of like that. <laughs> Any that we haven't mentioned now, either good or bad, that you feel uh, can't be left out? Um, I really like the, the Twilight Zone movie from... The 80s. I thought that, that movie was... scared me when yeah, I first saw it. It's super scary. That yeah. was so well done. Yeah. George Miller, uh, Mad Max George Miller, directed the, the last segment, which in the show was William Shatner going, there's someone on the wing. Um, but in the movie, it's it's John Lithgow losing his mind because there is a big giant gremlin on the side of the... It's, it's such a terrifying. great performance. Absolutely. 
I think the first Brady Bunch movie deserves some props because I think we've seen a lot of people try to make a movie that's like tongue in cheek and a little bit meta on like what the era was like. We're just trying to poke fun sort of at whatever era the show started, but that movie sort of pulls it off in a in a very like satisfying I agree. way. I Suppose you don't want to go out with me now, huh? Oh, of course I do. It's not your nose I'm after. Okay, one last question. What's a movie from a TV show that you want to see made that hasn't been made? What if they made a Lost movie? Just to try to explain what the hell happened. Maybe it could take place actually on the island and not in somebody's memory or heaven or whatever the happened think, in the last season. You know what? Yeah. I could get on board with that. And who doesn't need more Hurley in their life? <laughs> right? Yeah. Mike? I'm going, I think this is going to happen, but Adventure Time movie, sure. oh, I'm yeah. just like chomping at the bit for it. What TV show do you want to see turned into a movie? Let us know in the comments section below. Best answer, we're going to send you a Screen Junkies t-shirt. I want to thank our guests for talking about TV shows turned into movies like Champs. Kyle Anderson, thanks for coming by. Mike Carlson, hashtag Botanicus. I'm Hal Rudnick, thanks for watching. Hit me up on Twitter. Bye bye. Where does Austin Powers get his fancy clothes? I don't know, but okay. not Huntsman. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> All right, um, so, uh,